Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's Mike Bowens with you, ready to motivate you through the Word of God. We come to unleash the creativity within you. That's how we doing it. We doing it big this morning. We doing it big every day for the rest of our lives. Start looking around. Stop being creative. Hey, you may cook the best macaroni and cheese that anybody has ever tasted. Why don't you box it up, put it in some little tins or some little cartons and start selling it. Let's go, it's your man Mike Bowens coming to you right now and I'm talking about part two of hiring yourself. You know, in this today's economy that we're living in, many people are jobless and don't have employment. But let me tell you something. Jesus said, I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. You are not down and out. You are not without. God gives everyone and every person talents and abilities that's what's inside of them. And when you learn how to tap in what's inside of you, guess what? You become unstoppable. So it's your faith mixed with your understanding who you are. And if you don't understand who you are, who you are, then guess what? You won't be able to operate at the level that God is calling you to operate in. One of my favorite scriptures in Matthew, Jesus talks about occupy till I come. That means trade, invest, and do business. Now, if you've never been taught that, then you constantly be looking for just a job when maybe you are made to be more than to just have a job. Maybe you're supposed to be an employer and not just an employee, a person who creates jobs for others. And by the way, if nobody's hiring you, hire yourself. See, by we, when we're talking about this, this is like, you gotta understand, ladies and gentlemen, how the tax laws work. We live in a capitalist society. Now, this means that if you don't understand how tax laws work, you'll constantly be working for a paycheck and most of your money is coming out before you even get any through taxes. But when you understand as a business owner, as a real estate investor, that your money comes to you before you pay any taxes, which allows you to free up more money to invest. See, ladies and gentlemen, God never made it so that we have to keep working for money. He wants it to be that money begins to work for us that we can build his kingdom. And if you don't understand these principles, you'll spend your days laboring when you should be spending your days in pleasure and prosperity. That's what his word says. And if you don't understand these things, then you'll be struggling day by day when you don't have to. And I feel this thing coming on me strong. I feel a boom coming on. Come on, come on, boom! <laughs> I feel that thing in me so strong, is that you gotta understand who you are. So now, with that being said, I wanna say something to you that many times we overlook. What comes to you naturally? See, there's some things that you can do that nobody had to teach you how to do, but you just know how to do it. Some people can sing, some people can dance, some people can type, some people can sew. But you gotta examine yourself. You gotta spend time with God and spend time alone. That's right, alone. Shut the TV off, shut the iPhone off, shut the iPad off and all the other eyes. And shut them off and get quiet. And ask yourself, what comes to me, what comes, what gifts that has God given me that, that's natural? Certain things I could just do it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even talking about Nike. I'm talking about you. Some things that you could just do that no one has to teach you. Of course, you can always go to school and perfect the gift that's already inside you or go get some training on something that's already inside of you. But notice I said it's already inside you. You take a fish. You take that same fish and put it in the water. It could just swim. It knows how to instinctively because God made that fish to operate in that environment. You take that fish that same fish and put it on sand, it's gonna die. And that's how many of you are right now. You're operating in fields that you shouldn't be in because that's not the gifts that God put inside you. You're just doing it for a paycheck instead of going to a field where you can thrive in because those are the gifts that God put inside you. Now this is what I want you to focus on. Number one, what comes to me natural? Write this down. Number two, will I do it for free? Do you have a passion for it? See, many times people only want to do things unless they get paid for it, but you need to be able to do things for free until your gift can kick in and enough people know about you and they're willing to pay for your services. So do you have a passion for the thing that's inside of you? I mean, this thing should be so strong in you that no fire can put it out. No discouragement can put it out. No haters can put it out. Nobody can talk you out of it. Because when God puts something so deep inside of you, you're willing to do whatever it takes to bring that dream into reality. And I'm at the point in my life, and I heard this quote, and I take it as my own, that I want my, my reality to be better than my dreams. <laughs> 
You can get to the point, ladies and gentlemen, that your reality is better than your dreams. Another person said that if you're dreaming and you're still, and you wake up and you're still dreaming and you're running too fast, you're running too slow. You gotta get to the point where your reality becomes your dreams. That you're just not thinking about it, that you're becoming it every single day. So another thing, what comes natural to you? What's your passion? What gets you going? What is it that you want to do that nobody has to motivate you? I hear some people say, yeah, I want to do this and I want to do that, but I need somebody around me to motivate me to do it. But right now I'm motivating you. Right now I'm pushing you. Right now I'm telling you can do it. Right now I'm telling you can make it. And if you like me, a born again believer, you know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So now, with that being said, why do you need somebody else to motivate you? When it's something inside you burning so strong, you just need to get up and start doing it. The Bible says, write the vision, make it plain. You need to get up, write your goals down, accomplish that goal. After you accomplish that goal, set a new goal. Accomplish that goal, then keep repeating the process because when you're doing that, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna find yourself going from one level to the next, to the next, to the next, and no one can stop you but you. To your thoughts, ladies and gentlemen, become things. Another way people say it is what you think about, you bring about. So hiring yourself is a mindset. When you learn about corporations, when you learn about LLCs and DBAs and big business and stocks and bonds and real estate, there's not just it's not just you going out and starting a business, it's you understanding what did God call me to do? What's inside of me? And then understanding the logistics around it so that you can then take the abilities that's in you and make a legitimate business out of it. Oh, I got, a, I got family members, man, who can cook their behinds off. But they don't understand that. They need to monopolize or capitalize off what God put inside of them. And they just cook it for the family. Yeah, that's good. I enjoy a good meal. But if you understand how to take that to the marketplace, how to take the ideas and gifts and talents that put inside you, that God put inside you, and take it out to the marketplace. How to sell it, how to price it properly, how to open up a bank account, how to get an EIN number, how to make it a corporation, how to market it, how to make a website, how to do sell in orders, how to take orders, how to, how to count your inventory. These are things that you need to know that many times we are not taught because we don't take the time to learn these things. People say, they love to quote Malachi chapter 3, verse 10. Uh, you give your tithe and offering, God will open up the windows of heaven and pull you out a blessing that you have room enough to receive. I believe that with all of my heart. But as you notice that God is not dropping out a bag of money from the sky, how does it happen, ladies and gentlemen? He gives you information and illumination in your mind and exposes you to things that you may not have thought of. And he allows you to take those concepts and those ideas and from your spirit, man, and manifest them into the natural. But if you don't understand that you're supposed to be a business owner, if you don't understand that you're supposed to be a, a owner of a home, you know, no more renting. You're supposed to be an owner of a, of a home, multiple homes if you love real estate. You know there's more real estate investors and there's more millionaires in the area of real estate than any other field? When you become an investor in real estate investor, then you learn how to make money work for you. It don't take no extreme intelligence for you to do that. It takes a different mindset, a different way of thinking. So if no one wants to hire you, start to think, how can I hire myself? If no one wants to give you a job, create a job. There's so many people that's in prison and many people that's in college, but what's the deciding fact? What's the difference between the two of them? A mindset, choices. We will live and die by the choices that we make. And me, I decided to live my life based off of the Word of God. And if you start to think what the Word of God says and start to act on what the Word of God says, then you will have what the Word of God says in your life. Now the Bible says that we shall be the head and not the tail, the lender and not the borrower, above and never beneath. I believe that. How about to close you? out on this powerful topic? I want you to think and manifest what it is that we're talking about. No one wants to give you opportunity, create an opportunity for yourself. I'm signing off. This is Mike Bowens. God bless you. Until next time.